welcome back to the C Space Studio at CES 2023. Coming at you all day today and tomorrow with so many amazing live conversations with thought leaders in media, branding, marketing, and oh boy, do we have a good one for you right now. Our friend Alex Underwood is back in the C Space Studio, now representing Reddit as the global head of agency development. Alex, welcome back. Great to be back and uh, great to see you again after all these years. So Reddit has a pretty big presence here at CES. Yep. You're over at the Win. You've got this exhibit called Future Tellers. Tell us about that. Yeah, um, after a, a short hiatus, yeah, we're back with the Reddit Future Tellers installation. And essentially, it's showcasing all of the opinions, the insights, and ideas from our community about uh, the future. Because mm -hmm. a lot of important com and organic conversations start on Reddit and are happening today um, about the future forward. And they can often be harbingers of what is to come, yeah. what is to come next. And I'll give you an example. The 3D printing community started on Reddit in 2010. Hmm. That was three years before it became mainstream when President Obama actually surfaced it as the, a new way of revolutionizing how we make everything in his State of the Union speech. Electric vehicles community started in 2009. Huh. Bitcoin, 2010. Even the March for Science movement started as a throwaway comment in the Reddit community because mm. people are on Reddit are connected through passions and interests that they share, yeah. not people they know or they follow. And when you have passions that are in communities that are connected to the future and new technologies, Reddit almost becomes like a, an incubator of new ideas. And I really believe that communities are characterized by these shared experiences, shared opinions, and ideas, and that really can be a, a springboard to future trends. And in that research in our installation, we're looking at the future forward. The community's telling us that they believe that lab-grown food, for example, will be mainstream by 2025. Huh. They believe that um, smart contacts will be mainstream by 2029. There'll be robot chefs in 2035, and even space tourism in 2050. Sure. So and there's companies here at CES, of course, that are actually trying to bring all of those visions to life and many yeah. more. So it's a good integration of those two things. Absolutely. And I think that's the whole sort of uh, purpose of doing this at CES. It's really about the future, future technologies. And we believe we've got a, a nice collective wisdom of yeah. the communities across 100,000 mm -hmm. communities that can give us some really nice insights and predictions mm -hmm. about those forward facing trends as well. And what have you done to actually pull out the insights that you find interesting or noteworthy or worth listening to. So Reddit, obviously, for those who don't, I don't know who doesn't know what Reddit is, but it, it's obviously this massive message board on the internet where you can have uh, com yeah. communities and sub-communities called subreddits for any interest under yeah. the sun. So obviously, there's a lot of content there. How yeah. have you, as Reddit, plucked out the ones that you want to show people? Yeah, well, I think the, the biggest thing for us is we're trying to scale our business globally. At the moment. We're trying to use the, these forward-facing insights as a foundation to actually work closer with our agency and client partners to actually unlock more measurable business success and outcomes as a foundation for longer term partnerships. Mm -hmm. And honestly, the, the, it's important to pull out here as well that those insights are grounded in collective community shared interests and passions and not individual demographic or personal data. Mm -hmm. And I believe that gives um, a level of authenticity and trust to the environment, yeah. all the conversations that exist within that environment that are happening every day about your products, your brands, your services. And I think that which will provide education and support, mm -hmm. but also at the same time are shaping and influencing the purchase decisions at scale mm -hmm. and for tomorrow. And it's a great, we're using those insights as a place for brands to come where opinions are being mm -hmm. formed to connect with early adopters and actually yeah. um, figure out those early adopters and really truly understand how can they advocate your brand? How can they help shape your brand image and identity? And I really truly believe mm -hmm. that shared interest and community are the route to brand advocacy. And fundamentally, those, those, those insights you can get from long form conversational data and sentiment can really be used to inform future product mm -hmm. development, positioning, yeah. identify new and existing brand territories. We truly are sitting on a, uh, a huge repository of information of collective wisdom which can be used for insight generation and that's what we're starting to use the insights for with our with our agency and brand partners and to mine that data and to let the best ideas kind of come to the top are you, are you using the reddit 
system, the Reddit you know, algorithm, I suppose. I'm not sure if that's exactly what you call it, but the idea that people basically will vote and upvote on different comments, and so it's kind of the wisdom of the crowd, the wisdom of the masses, so it surface those ideas that are worth most listening to? Yeah, absolutely, and it's not based on, unlike other platforms, it's not based on algorithms or, or those, um, those signals, essentially. Yeah. We are looking at the sort of the collective wisdom of the community to surface what is important and what is relevant, what is inspiring and insightful to them. And I think another thing that is fascinating to me is that on Reddit, you all see the same thing, mm -hmm. the same platform. Nothing's necessarily personalized or algorithms to you as an individual. We're very, about, very much about the collective wisdom mm -hmm. and the collective focus of the community at large as well. So what's an example of how I as a brand, let's say I'm a lab-grown meat company and I want to engage with the lab-grown meat subreddit on Reddit. What are some examples of ways that I could find insights and then maybe make adjustments to what I'm doing either in my advertising, in my outreach, in my fostering of that community, or maybe even business strategy decisions about the kind of products I'm doing. What are some examples there? Yeah, I think to keep, to keep it quite broad there, I think you, you can certainly use Reddit as a um, consumer sentiment tool. Yeah. Because you're talking about long form conversations to understand truly how people are talking about your brand. Um, what do they perceive as your brand? What do they think about the, the category at large? And you could really mine into those, uh, that uh, minutia, that data level to inform how you want to engage, how you want to communicate, and how you want to advertise to that audience in a, in a real and authentic way. And be part of that community. And that's the, yeah. I always find this the difference with Reddit is it's not like, a, from an advertising perspective, it, my guidance is always, Reddit's not like a billboard. It's not public. It's like you're, you're in the room mm -hmm. with the audience, you're in the room with the community, so how you approach that community has to be in a real, human, and authentic way. Um, if other social platforms wanted to replicate some of these aspects of Reddit that you're saying make it unique, is it, is, it, is it possible to do that? I mean, obviously Reddit has a massive built-in advantage of it already exists, there's already millions of people using it, so people are gonna go there. But you know, it's funny when you look at what it is technically, and I'm sure there's a lot going on behind the scenes, it's a relatively simple user interface. Um, it kind of comes out of the Craigslist era, right, of like web design in some ways. It's very basic, but that's maybe one of the reasons why it's so compelling. But do, you, do other people you know, try to copy this and then just, they just don't get it, uh, what, what it actually is, and so they fail? Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure people have tried to copy it. Um, I think from the, the genesis, we've always been very clear that this is a, a community. And by the way, you know, there's 100,000 communities of all different types of shared passions and interests. And the fact that um, we don't look at the individual, mm -hmm. we're looking at the collective, we don't look for your sort of personal individual PII data. Yeah. You, can be, you can be just yourself and you can just focus around your passions mm -hmm. and your interest on the platform. And it's important to also know that because it's focused around passions and interest, these communities are moderated by our users and our humans right. and they're super passionate about how people communicate and how people behave and how people interact within those communities as well. And I think that's a bit of a, a difference to other platforms which are more grounded in algorithms and, and different signals. Ours is a very much human-led and authentic mm -hmm. environment. Will we see any major changes in the way that brands or, or users interact with Reddit over the next year, or do we expect kind of an evolution, or sorry, just a, a continued uh, you know, progress toward more people engaging in this way? Yeah, I think um, I think when I think about the uh, the industry at the moment, I feel like there's a there's a big shift that's starting to happen towards more privacy uh, first solutions. Yeah. Um, fundamentally, we think about the cookie-less future and the deprecation of the the cookie. You know, privacy is core to our DNA. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we are due to our focus on non-PII data. So these solutions already exist on Reddit, and we're going to continue to invest um, and double down. On those, on those solutions fundamentally. Our communities are at the heart categorized by um, interests and, and passions, mm -hmm. and to target and engage people within our communities from an advertising mm -hmm. perspective, we, we offer a number of contextual interest and keyword-based solutions that enable brands to engage in a non uh, in, a, in a privacy safe way, yeah. so to speak. And we, we really believe in building that environment, continue to enhance that environment in which people feel informed and in control of their experience. And we, we believe that you can build a, a really truly thriving ads business by being respectful for people, their data, their privacy, 
and we've been pretty successful at it, and we believe we're going to continue to be successful with that as well. There's never enough time here in the Seed Space Studio, but I want to give you one chance to shout out an underrated subreddit, something that you want to promote, or that just that you think is personally cool, your passion. Um, for my passion, I go with, um, it's quite obvious, but I go with r slash Aston Villa, which is my, my football, my, my soccer team for the US yeah. audiences, and also r slash Birmingham is the, the city that I was uh, brought up in, so I feel like Reddit gives me that sense of connectivity to uh, my community back, back yeah. home. And I'm, I'm missing out on the developments and the growth of that and the way people talk and the way people interact um, in that community um, is something that I li I'd like to keep close now that I've been, I've been in the US for over 13 years now. So, you know, those communities uh, really directly tie back to my, uh, I guess, my UK-based passions. Well, Alex Underwood, thanks for sharing your passions and being part of our community here yeah. in the C Space Studio. From Reddit, thank you so much for coming. No problem. Thank you, James. And thank you so much for watching. This is the C Space Studio. We're sponsored by Salesforce. We're here at CES 2023, and there's so much more on the way. I'm James Kotecki. Keep it here.